Alright, so it has been six months since the Mavic 2 has been out. Um, and usually DJI has a bit of a record where every one or one and a half to two years, they release a new drone in the series. And because the Mavic 2 has been so successful, this is a speculation video of what we could see on the Mavic 3. So, first thing, it's a small thing. If they could get that gimbal cover to work a bit better, like, sure, it's, it's okay. Just got to kind of try and line it up properly. There we go, it's back on. But if they could get that to be a bit more, I don't know, good, that would be great. Now, camera and gimbal has already had a huge upgrade, but the camera could be upgraded on the new Mavic 3. So what we could see is literally they combined the zoom camera and the pros camera into one. So you have the big fat one inch sensor and it also would have Hasselblad and then it would have 48 millimeters of zoom. And if they could implement that on a Mavic, which they probably could, um, that would be incredible. And then there's a few more refinements that I would love to see. So when you unfold the Mavic, top two arms, they're smooth, they unfold nicely. But these bottom two um, arms, they kind of scrape along the body. And I feel like over time, that is going to scratch it. Uh, so if that could be refined, that would be amazing as well. Battery life would be increased. Um, we would probably see um, a refinement again in the motors and um, the overall shape would change probably a little bit, but I don't reckon there'd be a huge upgrade with OcuSync 2.0. I reckon that'll probably stay the same. So the main upgrade would be probably it would go faster, longer battery life, um, one inch sensor and the zoom, Hasselblad all in one. Um, maybe uh, light on the front as well. That could be pretty cool because if you're getting some like night shots, like it's also it's awesome to have the light there. But if we could have another light, then we could get like the shots out in front with the light and below. Now I'm going to speak a little bit about the controller because that is also like a main part of the drone. So switching over to the controller. The Mavic 2 controller does feel good in the hand. It is um, responsive and I'm glad that the sticks are now removed. See, now both two sticks are on. Um, but, this is the huge upgrade. So, the 8km range is good. It's got uh, OcuSync 2.0, so we get that 1080p transmission signal to your phone. But, the major upgrade that I would like to see, so you know DJI's got that smart controller. Well, what I reckon would be awesome is if the smart controller had an upgrade and it just came standard with the drone. So imagine this for a bit. So your phone's in here. That's where your phone usually goes with Mavics or you have an iPad and attachment thing. But imagine if 
when you folded it up, you didn't actually have to bring along a phone. And this folded backwards here and sat as like a flush pack package. So you had a 1000 nit screen so you could see it in the sun. And then it could fold back and you'd have this screen controller that was still the size of this. I reckon that'd be a huge upgrade. That is just a dream for me if that could happen. But yeah. Um, so we'd have the... And I reckon the layout would stay pretty similar for the Mavics just because it's portable. But that's why. Because that um, smart controller is really beefy. So if we could get a screen that folds back and is a thousand nits built in and just comes with a drone, that'd be incredible. Because imagine that. You've got the one inch sensor, you, the camera quality probably go 4K60 with the zoom lens and the Hasselblad. Um, screen folds back. Maybe increase it to 9K range. And I reckon that's um, just about it. Yeah, so that's uh, been the speculation video. If you did enjoy it, please smash that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. Um, share this video if you found it interesting and you reckon one of your mates would too. So this channel is... So just like photography and sports, pretty much. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely stick around. And yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Subscribe. Buttons are just about here. Man, that thing's sturdy. I never knew, know what to do for the end of these videos when there's like that end screen. Sometimes I do a black screen, so I'm... If you're just watching along, you to see me fold up the Mavic. Yeah, pretty interesting for you guys. Thanks for sticking around, if you're still here. Um, really helps me out. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because I mean, if you've watched this far into it, this is a pretty boring video that I've made, so... Definitely subscribe to see something a bit more interesting. Gee, that gimbal protector really needs to be upgraded.